is Maxim Champ here, and today I'll be dropping 20 times in OG Fortnite. And by the way, this is all possible by Project Arrow. So yeah, this is what happened. Game 1. I landed Pleasant Park and already started a fight. Honestly, I'm surprised how I almost died, but still got the kill at 28 HP. But, but got killed by a sweat teammate later after only a few seconds. Game 2. I decided to drop the mo No Man's Land, also known as Anarchy Acres, but I missed my drop and I got a grey revolver! Wow, whoa, wow, magnificent! But got in a fight with a guy. Got you now, wait, we're... Okay, well, he just disintegrated. But he ran away with one HP, literally. But I still got the kill later and figured out it was my friend Xander. After running from Storm, I saw a noob's base, but my shotgun did eight damage, and you could guess what happened. Not gonna lie, this game was so boring. I'm just gonna show you guys the end, since we literally saw nobody at all. Like, zero people. So here's the end battle. Do you like it? Very interesting. Oh, we won! Yeah! Okay, game four. Um, I'm not even gonna write a script for this because I just landed Tilted Towers, thought it would be a good idea for Clock Tower, and died to an LMG. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, this is game five. So, um, it was four to five and 50v50. We were doing pretty good, I feel like. We, I was having good loot, so I was feeling really good, con uh, good and confident. And then the games crashed. And the servers crashed. You know what? It's fine. That's respectable. I mean, you do you. There are only three words that describe this entire 50v50 match. Not good. Game 7. Got this kill that was very satisfying for no reason at all. Then we got in a sniping battle that literally lasted for ages. When I mean agents, I mean ages but we eventually just launched away then i hit such a nice rocket hit it caused the rift gate to open up <laughs> but after all the fighting we got the dub Woo! two w's after only seven games game eight i forgot to record until late game but nothing happened I saw nobody until the end. There was a big build fight on the top of the hill for high ground, but the storm caused the hill to make it, but caused the hill to mainly be in the storm. So I took a slope that was somewhat above the others and built a base up there. But when I realized this somewhat of the hill uh, was still up there while the others were beefing it out, so I built the uh, so I built a mini s sky base by not doing anything. Zero kills. Let's go. Two wins in a row. Three wins so far. Game nine. We dropped in tilted towers and got in a little bit of combat at the start, but somehow. This kill wasn't mine, but it's alright. Then we fought his teammate, who was actually somewhat good, but we still got him down. Um, but of course, the game crashed in the dreaded basement of crashing. Why this basement every time? Uh... Game 10. I was planning to get, to get the rocket event as game 10, and then transition into season 5 for the last 10 games. But I got a notification that uh, on get Discord that said season f five would be released on August eleventh uh, to August thirteenth, and I'm not waiting that long to finish this video. But to make the situation worse, I was waiting in matchmaking for so long and to watch the rocket event. But then I finally got in a match. Uh, I took a really good spot on a mountain beside the rocket and was ready to watch. But of course, something had to go wrong. Apparently, I was too late and the server killed itself. But at least I got the skin. <laughs> so here's an extra game. Boom, bam, bop. Oh, yeah. Game 11. This was a squads match and got paired up with two greedy teammates who would just go all the way across trying to steal as much loot. But later, we spotted the last team in Loot Lake. I know we skipped a lot, but like, there was nobody there. Uh, we were trading snipes until one of our teammates got knocked down. I had to res him and gave, and then I gave him two minis. Uh, but during that time, the other team uh, got near us by using bouncers. 
then they began rushing us, and I got sniped two times. Once by a semi-auto, and once by a bolt, so I was really low. Uh, then both my teammates were down, and I was left at 4 HP, so I rushed fearlessly. And, of course, at the last second, the server crashed. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea why the games mostly crash when I'm recording, <laughs> but at least I didn't die embarrassingly. <laughs> game 12. I dropped Tilted Towers again, not learning after game four. Me and my teammate got in a lot of fighting, and then he got knocked down, and I died a few seconds later. I know, short game. Game 13. Anarchy was a hot spot, and I had no volume. So, of course, naturally, I got pounced by a dude who had shield. So, of course, I died. Why wouldn't I? Game 14. This was a 50v50 match, and it was awesome. And the loot was amazing. I mean, heavy shotgun, sniper, scar, whoa! But this guy had an RPG and the high ground, so even though I fought hard, I still died. You bet I was fuming. Game 15. This match was kind of uh, scuffed because I had no safe location to drop when I was dropping down. But I decided to be stupid and go to Dusty Divot. I had nowhere to drop in Dusty Divot until I went to the middle because I noticed no one was there. I got some really good loot and I went to drink a juice box, but then a Nuberton uh, opened a door and was under my ramp. So, of course, I pumped him really hard. So I began feeling pretty uh, confident and then rushed another guy and then got that kill too. And although he did hit me pretty hard, so I did have to heal. But then I got third partied, so I ran back into the middle, but when I took high ground, my pump shot didn't do any damage. So I went to get another hit, but he built up too high, so I took fall damage. Uh, so I took a med kit to heal, but uh, w when I went to kill him, I got killed by him instead. But don't worry, when I stopped the recording, he died to a default only a few seconds later. Game 16. After last game, I need to go faster. Boom! Ow. Game 17. I know this game was super short, but I want to talk about, about why I love OG Fortnite. First of all, the graphics were just amazing. They were so beautiful. Like, the, the nighttime is just so beautiful, especially the sunset. sunset. And the loot pool was just balanced. Everything was just so good and just, you know... It, they were simple guns. Now there's like, I don't know, mammoth pistol. They're, they're weird guns. There's invisibility gauntlets. And I just love how everything was just so simple. Ah. Game 18. This was a 3 to 4 50v50 game. But my teammates decided to just dip the game. So it was up to me to win the game. 1 to 4. And, and since I was on EU servers, not NA, it was a guaranteed loss. So I thought it would be best to try, you know, just get, just give a little bit of excitement. So I knocked the first enemy, and um, yeah, somehow I got hit by a clinger that did 179 plus damage. Please, somebody explain this in the comment section. I'm so confused. Game 19, I honestly cannot stretch, stretch this to make the video longer. I just died immediately from a guy who has max tier. Game 20, ah, the last game of the 20 drops. Let's hope we win today. I went to Anarchy Acres to do a challenge, but and I thought I was alone. Uh, but then I saw a chest open, so I knew somebody was here. I searched for that person, but turns out he was just a little bit of a newberton. So I just shotgunned him in the face. Um, but before I knew it, it was a one verse one. He attempted to snipe me, but I took that personally. So I, so I killed him and won the last game of the 20 drops. Honestly, OG Fortnite is just so awesome. Like I explained in game 17, I think Fort new Fortnite is just far too complex. And uh, if you want to revisit OG Fortnite like I did in this video, you can go into my description to download Project Era. And Season 5 is coming out soon, so don't miss it!